Everyone needs a sweet indulgence every once in a while. There's nothing wrong with a piece of chocolate cake or a cookie now and then, and having a little sweet after a meal is a habit that can be hard to break. It seems no matter how full someone is from their dinner, there's always room for a bite of dessert. But where you can get into tricky territory is ordering dessert when you're out at a restaurant. These dessert dishes might even be more gut-busting than the entire meal you had before them. Chili Skillet Chocolate Chip Cookie this Chili's treat is just one cookie baked in a skillet topped with a little ice cream. How bad could it be? Bad. Shockingly bad. Of its 1,420 calories, 640 are calories from fat, which means nearly half of the calories in the whole thing come from the eye-popping 71 grams of fat. Add to that 116 grams of sugar and it may be more beneficial to eat the skillet the cookie is baked in. At least it's got iron. You need your skillet! Perkins Peanut Butter Silk Pie Oh, Perkins. Their pies look so innocent. Just a little filling, some whipped cream, nothing at all, right? Wrong. One slice of peanut butter silk pie not only has 930 calories and 65 grams of fat, but that one measly slice has 145 milligrams of cholesterol. That's nearly half the daily average. So basically, you can have a slice of pie and then very little the rest of the day. If you're still not willing to avoid the pie, there are 12 grams of protein per slice. So, you know, silver lining. TGI Friday's Brownie Obsession Nothing good ever came from an obsession. Even if it's a warm brownie topped with vanilla ice cream, caramel sauce, and pecans like the one from TJI Fridays. Don't care how I want it now. If you need something to obsess over, how about the fact that if you eat this Sunday, you'll have consumed 153 grams of carbohydrates and more than double the amount of saturated fat recommended in one day. Honestly, just do yourself a favor and don't get too obsessed with this dessert. The Cheesecake Factory's Double Threat The chocolate truffle tower cake is by far the worst non-cheesecake dessert to get at the Cheesecake Factory. Seven layers of cake, seven layers of alternating chocolate truffle cream and chocolate mousse, some frosting, and a few mounds of whipped cream just because. It has nearly 1,700 calories per serving. It also serves up 206 grams of carbohydrates, nearly two-thirds of the daily recommended amount. Unless you're carbo-loading for a big race, do yourself a favor and skip this. But it's certainly not the only thing to avoid while you're at the Cheesecake Factory. Adam's Peanut Butter Cup Fudge Ripple Cheesecake really takes the cake. It contains 200% of your daily allowance of saturated fat, topped off with Butterfingers and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, as well as caramel and peanut butter. P.F. Chang's Great Wall of Chocolate you probably don't typically think healthy when you think of chain Asian restaurants, but the Great Wall of Chocolate from P.F. Chang's is working on a whole new level. With its 1,700 calories and 71 grams of fat, this is one dessert that should serve as a meal itself. Oh, and do you think because it's a dessert you're free from a lot of sodium? think again. This massive slice of cake is loaded with 1,410 milligrams of sodium. Who knew a dessert so sweet could be so salty? Olive Garden's Zeppeli this offering of fried pillows of dough dusted in powdered sugar from the Olive Garden is actually one of the least horrible for you desserts on our list, but it's 810 calories, 28 grams of fat, and 119 grams of carbohydrates still make it one to avoid. Oh, and don't forget to factor in the dipping sauces. What's in the sauce? The raspberry sauce tacks on an additional 210 calories and 51 grams of carbohydrates, while the chocolate sauce adds an additional 220 calories, 3 grams of fat, and 48 grams of carbohydrates. That makes it more than twice the amount of carbohydrates in the tiramisu. And let's be honest, didn't you have enough carbohydrates at dinner? California Pizza Kitchen's Butter Cake there's no way something called butter cake wasn't going to be a dessert to avoid. California Pizza Kitchen considers this dessert one of its signature dishes. It has 73 grams of fat, 315 milligrams of cholesterol, and an astonishing 45 grams of saturated fat. And that's all before you add the serving of vanilla Hagen does. The ice cream brings the total fat to a mind-boggling 92 grams. To put it into perspective, that's the same amount of fat in almost three of California Pizza Kitchen's original barbecue chicken pizzas with bacon but the butter cake still has more saturated fat and cholesterol. That's almost impressive. 